Hi, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Come to you tonight with a challenge, the history reading challenge. And I wanted to give you my TBR for that history reading challenge. So recently on uh, BookTube, I, it, it came to my attention. I think it's actually been on here for a few weeks, uh, maybe since maybe even the middle of July. But uh, four BookTubers, uh, Emma at Cup of Books, Justin at Triumphal Reads, Jenny at Bookish Shenanigans and Justin at Ghost Reader all combined to create the History Reading Challenge. And there's also a tag that's a spin-off of this that I'm going to do in a couple of days. I got tagged by Jack the Rambling Racketer and um, I want to get that done. But uh, right now, uh, to be honest, life is very, very busy. Just, and I think Jack's going through the same thing. He's doing some on, he's a teacher. He does online uh, teaching right at the moment. And my school's going to be face-to-face uh, -face with our kids to start with, but we do have some remote learning that is going on. And so I'm going to be doing a little bit of what he's doing and maybe more of it in the future. Nobody knows what the future holds. So anyway, uh, he tagged me. It, it might be a day or two before I get to it, but I am going to do that tag. But for right now, I wanted to do the History Reading Challenge TBR. Uh, so I wanted to show you, so I'm going to pop up on the screen, the, 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 uh, the four booktubers created a, it's like a bingo card, and it has all of the different um, uh, genres within history. I don't know if genres is the right the right word for this, but um, different categories that they want everybody reading. The, the, the big idea is get everybody reading history. But they're going to dedicate these last two weeks of August to uh, completing a history book that falls within those uh, within those parameters. So let's go over those parameters. So on the uh, on the little bingo card, I'll put that right there. Hopefully that'll pop up for me. Um, I am going to go by, let's see, I am going by rows, so I'm going to go from left to right on that. And uh, the first one on the bingo card is contemporary history, and they were considering temporary history, anything in the last hundred years, uh, because they're looking at world history. You know, world history is a lot. It's a, that, the timeline of world history is huge. So the last 100 years is just a small portion of it. Um, but I am going to, and, and by the way, I'm also going to try to, as I create this TBR for the History Reading Challenge, my idea is I want to try to get these done in 2020. And so I'm also going to try to wrap in my 2020 TBR list. I'm going to try to get those in the mix. So I think I might have my work cut out for me, but I'm going to give it a go. So for contemporary history, last 100 years, I am going to read Rick Atkinson's an Army at Dawn, which is uh, the war in North Africa, 1942 to 43. This is volume one of the Liberation uh, Trilogy. He did this on World War II, and this is volume one. It's the only one I've got right now. I'd like to get the other two, but I read his other book, um, The British Are Coming, which is a trilogy he is doing on the American Revolution, and I love that book, and from everything I've seen, I'm going to love this one on the uh, war in North Africa for World War II. So that's going to be my contemporary history. For local history, uh, recently at school, we had a, a coach from up in northern Iowa who came and spoke at our school as the uh, kind of the keynote speaker on the uh, first day of school for the teachers. And uh, she was a coach of a volleyball team that had, uh, if you've seen the movie, The Miracle Season, and there's also a book by the same name. That coach, coached in Northern Iowa, uh, she came to our school to speak. And um, I'm going to read that book. I, I have a colleague at school who's going to bring that to me tomorrow, and I'm going to get started. Hopefully I can get, that'll be my uh, last two weeks of August book. I'll, I'll read through that. Hopefully I can get that done and uh, be able to complete the challenge, uh, or the biggest part of the challenge anyway. But the the Miracle Season by Coach Brez, and, and Brez is not her whole name. I can't remember what her whole name is right at this moment, but um, that's going to be my local history because that's a, that's a Iowa story. So if you're familiar with that movie, The Miracle Season, that's, that's an Iowa story, true story. Um, 
for historical fiction, I'm going to go back. I've been going back and doing some rereads. We've been doing the reread tag here in, on BookTube. And um, I got to thinking, I have not read the North-South Trilogy by uh, John Jakes. And I don't have a jacket for this one. But uh, this is an excellent series that of books that I, I read a long time ago. And I have not come back and reread them. So I'm going to come back and reread John Jakes's um, North and South series. The, uh, the next one is A Different Country's History. Okay, so they're wanting you basically just to get out of the United States or out of your home country. I guess if, if uh, you're in another country, it won't be the United States, obviously. But uh, I picked 1066, The Year of the Conquest by David Harworth. And... Um, yeah, that's going to go with my world history class. I'm really going to like that. But, of course, that's some English history. And uh, I guess you could say maybe a little bit of French since William the Conqueror was from northern France, from from uh, Normandy. But um, anyway, so out of the country regardless. Um, so the next one, I'm going to go to the second row. Your favorite time period. So... One of my favorite time periods to read about is the Antebellum period, that period right before the Civil War, right before everything, uh, you, you know, the build up to the chaos of the Civil War. And so I found a book that goes right along with that, that era. It's called The House Divides, The Age of Jackson and Lincoln, From the War of 1812 to the Civil War. So I've read a few books on the Antebellum period. This one's going to take it clear back to the War of 1812. So it's going to take it back a little bit further. So this is by Paul Wellman. And I've had that for a couple years, and I'd like to get that one read. So I thought that'd go nicely in that category. Um, the next category is a woman author. And so I picked one off of my 2020 TBR. And this is The Russian Revolution, 1917 to 1932 by Sheila Fitzpatrick. And you know, it's a smaller volume, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to need, with this stack of books, I'm going to need a couple of smaller volumes if I'm going to get through them in 2020. But uh, that's going to be, that'll go with my my uh, World War One and World War Two unit, you know, that in-between time period there uh, from, from the two world wars. Let's see. Ancient History is my next one. And, and uh, if I remember right, uh, Justin said that ancient history is going to be kind of up to the reader a little bit, and so I'm not going clear back to the ancient Greeks and the Romans. I'm going to I'm going to use the Middle Ages, um, mainly because my world history class that I teach we do uh, a lot of stuff with the Middle Ages, and so uh, I picked Mysteries of the Middle Ages in the Beginning of the Modern World uh, by Thomas Cahill. So it's going to be that this is going to be the uh, I guess maybe the end of the, well, it's not really the ancient times. I know it's the Middle Ages, but he said we could do that. So I'm going to use this book. Um, okay, so the next book on the list, it, list is Macro or Multidisciplinary History. And I am going to pick uh, a book. I don't, it's upstairs in my, in the upper room. And it's a little messy up in the upper room right now, and I couldn't get to some of my books. Uh, my wife has put stuff back in the back in the room. My shelves have been covered, so I couldn't I couldn't get to the book. But um, I am going to read H. W. Brands's American Dreams, and that's going to cover the uh, the World War II all the way to I think it's 1990. Or 91 right in there it's gonna be basically the Cold War and um, that's the book I'm gonna read for that um, hosts favorite history book so I picked one off of Justin's list it was a world undone the story of the Great War 1914 to 1918 by GJ Meyer and I I, uh, I cover world World War one in my uh, one of my middle school classes and we do a pretty big unit, take the kids to the World War One Museum and stuff, So, uh, which is really cool. Of course, we're not going to be able to, I don't think we're going to be able to do that this year, but uh, maybe next year. Um, this book will go right along with my, my unit there, so I'm pretty excited to read that one. Um, 
Next book on the list is one that I am currently in the middle of, uh, the third volume of the Nixon trilogy, Ruin and Recovery, 1973 to 1990 by Stephen Ambrose. Um, been working on that. I want to get that done. I was hoping to do this one as the last two weeks of August book, but I don't see me being able to get that done. I think I'm going to have too much on my plate right here at the beginning of the school year. Uh, next book, or next category to cover is history of a social issue okay and so I'm gonna pick my favorite sport to help me uh, go through this and this this book is gonna be great time coming the life of Jackie Robinson from baseball to Birmingham by David Faulkner and this is gonna talk about um, you know his his role in the civil rights movement a little bit and trying to fight segregation and so that's our main social issue we're gonna cover with that and so I'm excited to see that and that'll help me with my uh, my kids at school, they do History Day projects, and a lot of them pick Jackie Robinson. So that'll go right along with that. That'll be a good one. Um, BYPOC author. Um, the one that I picked for this was a autobiography by Harriet Jacobs. Uh, it's a slave narrative. And um, it is upstairs in the upper room. Sorry about that. I couldn't get to it, but I, I know where it's at. I just couldn't get to it right at this moment. But uh, it is, a, like I said, an autobiography of Harriet Jacobs. It's going to give the women's perspective, you know, a woman's slave's perspective. And um, I, from everything I've heard, it's going to be a powerful book. And it'll, it'll help me out in teaching slavery, you know, from the founding of the nation to to uh, the Civil War. It's going to help in that, that slavery issue. Um, next one, next category is myth or folklore. And so I was sitting there thinking, Greek mythology, do I want to go back? And, and then I remembered I had a book on my shelf at school. A Civil War Treasury of Tales, Legends, and Folklore. And uh, this is B.A. Botkin. And so I'm going to use that for my uh, folklore. All right, next category, a country on a different continent. So I'm going to go to England again, and we're going to, I'm going to read English Society, 1580 to 1680 by Keith Wrightson. And uh, that'll help me in my, my World History II class when we're talking, uh, you know, we're going to talk about the uh, monarchies and stuff, and this will just help with uh, what's going on during the monarchies? What you know? Looking, I, I'm hoping, and I haven't read into this, but I, um, English society, social change in the late 16th, 17th centuries. He focuses on social stratification, social mobility, family formation, relationships, neighborliness. Yeah, it's it's going to get into the average Joe, I think, and so that that should be good um, for micro history. So going down the rabbit trail. I chose The Witches, Salem, 1692 by Stacy Schiff, and um, real excited to read that. Uh, I think it's going to be real good. Everything I saw on it was real good, and um, yeah, that's going to be my micro history, a little rabbit trail. And then uh, the last one on the bingo card there is Revisit a School Topic, and as I, was, as I was going through watching the, the different people's videos, basically this is, um, you know, going back to those typical school, pro, uh, those typical school topics where it is the, the old, the old white man history, basically, you know, the old white guy who's telling it from a white perspective. And um, the, this particular category is the opposite of that it is it is revisiting that but looking at it from other perspectives and so not whitewashing history basically and so um i chose a book i bought this three or four years ago and i just haven't got to it and i i look at it and i'm like man i gotta read this uh and and then it it gets on, you know, something comes up and I just don't get to it. Well, I'm going to make a point of getting to it. And this is the Hemings, Hemingses of Monticello, an American family by Annette Gordon Reed. And so I'm really excited to read this. This is the, um, you know, the Hemingses. This is uh, Thomas Jefferson, a lot of the authors, the biographers of uh, Thomas Jefferson early on 
uh, would not recognize his relationship with uh, Sally Hemings. And uh, Annette Gordon-Reed goes through and writes a very, very good book that there was a relationship and it was children produced and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm excited to read that. And then, so I've covered every topic on the History Challenge, but I'm going to challenge myself one more step, basically so I can get my 2020 reading, uh, my 2020 TBR list finished. Here are two more I want to add to this. Uh, the Supreme Commander, The War Years of Dwight Eisenhower by Stephen Ambrose. I want to add that to my list. And then General George Washington, A Military Life by Edward Lengel. I want to add that. And then that will finish off my TBR list for 2020. But it also, uh, this whole thing also wraps up the history reading challenge. And so this has been my TBR list for that. This is going to be my plans for probably till the end of 2020. This is, going to, this is plenty of stuff to read. I'm hoping I'll get through it. It might take me to the first couple of weeks of, of uh, January, but hopefully I can get this done. So BookTube, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you take the history reading challenge. Look up that, uh, you know, that, that, those original tags. I'll put the, dis, the links to the, to the founder or the, the creators down in the description below. Go, uh, go out to their channels, uh, watch your videos, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.